just on another note, insurance companies don't cover peers. That's right. So do you suggest people that live in the state of Texas to find an insurance company that does provide insurance for peer coverage? Well, homeowner's insurance is a misunderstood thing. Homeowner's insurance, they need sudden and accidental damage. They need a date of loss. Right. Okay. So if you have foundation settlement, that is not something that has occurred suddenly or accidentally. Right. Unless you have a massive plumbing leak. Right. And that could have been over time from a foundation moving. Yeah, there's some chicken or the egg there, but if you have a supply side plumbing leak and all of a sudden your water bill in July is $1,000 and you see cracks and your foundation moved, the insurance company will pay that because that's not for. caused by a sudden and accidental plumbing leak. But what they will not cover is the cast iron drain pipe that's been leaking for five, you know, 10 years, or that tree that's been drinking water for 15 years. Right. They're right. not gonna cover that. Right. Now, most, most newer homes less than 10 years old will have a 10 year structural warranty a warranty is different than an insurance policy. And the 10-year structural warranty will cover those kinds of things. Anything, anything that causes the foundation to move a certain magnitude, there's a criteria, but if it moves a certain criteria, the warranty company will pay that okay. for the first 10 years. Let's talk about new construction for a moment. Yep. So a lot of times, there's a three-point inspection if someone hires an independent third-party inspector to come and make sure that the builder is doing as they're supposed to per code. Do you suggest having a structural engineer visit the property and do an inspection during construction? Sure, I do. It, it doesn't have to be a professional engineer. Um, there are a lot of great third-party inspectors, generally home inspectors, are, are fairly well trained to look at framing issues or installations of, of utilities. Engineers obviously can too. Okay. Uh, but I would recommend some third-party oversight, okay. whether it be an engineer, a general inspector, a code compliance. The city, the green tag from the city, really, they're not looking they're not looking for things that you really care about. Right? The city's looking for safety stuff. Is the handrail banister safe? The correct amount of inches That's in between right. each other uh, each spindle. Is the water meter far enough away from the easement? They're looking for city related type stuff. They're not in there looking for, you know, the quality of the installation. Right. right? People think they do, but they don't. So a third-party inspector will help with that. Awesome. Okay. And, but just as a side note, a benefit of hiring an engineer to do that is, you know, we will take the elevation measurements of the foundation as it was built. And so if we have problems in the future, we'll know what we started with. And that brings me to a, a story okay. where I had just recently sold a home that was probably 7,500 square feet. And... A couple of tiles cracked. It was a very, very big home with a lot of square footage on the first floor. And a couple of tiles had cracked off of one little artery of the main of the foundation. And the seller said this was like this when it was built. We went back to the builder. The builder said this was probably built just like this because the tile cracked immediately and it may not have been level right there. And if an engineer had actually come out and measured that foundation during construction, when they resold the home, they could have pulled that report That's out and it. said, this was the measurement from when this construction happened, when this foundation was laid, they're the exact same numbers. That's it. There's not an issue. You know, that's, that's a great point for any buyer or seller. You know, if you can show your next buyer that the foundation is stable, that's the golden ticket. You know, that's a great thing to do. 
So get an engineer to just take the measurements just so you can have them when you go to sell it. You know? Exactly. Especially if especially if you're buying a home that might have some foundation movement that maybe we decide not to fix. And maybe it's off a little more than normal. And as long as we can show that it's stable. That's the key. That's the key. So I've had buyers, they'll buy into a distressed property that's got some diselevation. And they'll hold it for a while. And then and they'll buy it at a discount because of the diselevation. They'll, they'll negotiate and say, you know, I'm willing to buy this thing, but the one down the street's perfectly level. I'll buy yours, but I want, I'm want i not going to buy discount. it at full market value. And then they'll hold it for a few years, show that it's stable, which is the most important thing, and then they'll tell their next buyer, yeah, it's a little off level, but, you know. It, it hasn't moved it's and stable. it's been stable. And then they'll sell it at full market value. And so I've, there are people who have that business model. They look for homes like that. That's right. Um, stability is the key. So sometimes a buyer will look at an engineer's report that a seller had, and the seller may have this report that says nothing is needed, it just needs some water around the foundation, and the home is stable, and as long as they water, it's fine. They come up with a plan. But sometimes buyers think that's a negative because they think maybe there was a problem, mm -hmm. and I don't feel that way. I feel like it's going to the doctor's office and having a checkup and it's That's in true. your file. Yeah, if you if you have a seller, maybe they are concerned about something and but to me that shows a lot of due diligence on the seller's side to to get that checked out. I think in this area people are so accustomed to foundation movement and and they're so coached on that that you know, we do have foundation movement you know, it, it's important to get that checked, and, and that's a big thing around here. And, and I think most agents do a good job coaching their buyers. That It's not really a stigma, I don't think, in this area. Um, I've also had some buyers that when they see foundation, they think, big problem, mm -hmm. don't ever touch the house. <laughs> right. What are your thoughts on that? Man, it, it just, we, we've got to define big problems. Like, just because they have some repair contractor bid that's 10 peers around the corner for, you know, $4,000, that's not a big thing. That's not a major repair. I would rather just negotiate a little bit of, a little bit of market value because it may be a little low and not actually put the peers in. And see if it becomes stable over time. And just see that way, that, you know, you, you'll have some room in your budget to fix it if you need it, but... Let's not just throw peers at something. Right. Uh, but, you know, again, the, there's a whole market out there for people who buy off-level homes. And that's a good strategy. I think there's a really good business model for buying distressed foundations. And what I recommend is for an investment and then rent it out. You know, renters don't care if it's off right. level, as long as your doors open and close, emergency egress. Renters don't care if it's off level. They don't love the home, right? Like they're a not home, purchasing it. They're not going right. to buy it. They don't love it, right? So I have people that buy those kinds of homes and they rent them out for a number of years to recoup their repair costs. Either they fix them at that time or they just sell them, move them on. But there's a market out there for people to buy off level homes. Good thought for investors. Yeah. A great model. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you would like to view other helpful tips, click here. If you would like to view a neighborhood we specialize in, click here. And to subscribe and stay updated, click on the circle below. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.